something we we've been talking about uh, for quite a while and we're happy to introduce for the first time the full procedural generation of 100 kilometer square maps so again i think it's like 63 square miles so it's pretty big as you can see uh this is a just a flat map okay so um i can take a little bit of height as you can see it's beautiful i love it and here i'm going to show you um how to create a map so you're gonna you're gonna see it's taking i think it takes like a minute uh to generate the whole thing so here send castle mode and here now you have this kind of four steps. I'm going to click on generate map. Uh, and so now, as you can see, it has applied 25 landforms on my map. It's randomly generated. And so on the top left, you can see that it's calculating the ground. So it's doing kind of a pre visualization. You don't you still don't have um, the, the fully rendered world. But it's going to give you an idea in a pretty pretty short time considering the scale of it i clicked on generate it's going to generate another one so as you can see it's doing it uh, so it's another set of landforms um, and on the right on the right uh, here uh, it's a little bit under my webcam but you have the sandcastle outliner and which what it means is i can have control on each of this landform so you can rename the landforms, move it to the left, move it to the right. You can scale it, you can rotate it. Uh, this is where you have the control over your landforms. So it looks like the maps is, is a lot flatter here. Uh, it looks like over here, it's done some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, right there, this is gonna be very interesting in my opinion. Like I told you, you can click on the icon and now you have this uh, pre-visualization to show you what is the active landform you have you can see uh all of this has been made in one click um and yeah i mean like it's your own personal skyrim right 100 kilometers square you can move lakes around you can add rocks you can do uh you can do a little a little bandit camp right here uh and then you can you can name it you can do your stuff so uh that's the that's the basics of generating a map moving your landforms uh, and rendering your map. When it's done, uh, you can also biome paint now, meaning that, uh, for example, this is a big forest uh, and you want to have some kind of clearing in it. So this is a perfect example. This is a big forest, wow. I'm gonna go into biome painting mode. And so you'll see here is fully forested. So I'm gonna take the plane uh, brush and I'm just gonna paint um, so you can select the hardness of your brush meaning that if it's hard it's gonna be like you know really sharp on the edges uh, if you put it a lot softer you can see what we call the fall off natural brush is gonna make this kind of patterns you see so it's it's a lot better uh, when you want to have kind of natural na natural um, um, you know, blend between the two. As you can see, the natural brushes are kind of better, uh, and it's it's doing it's doing more realistic uh, blend. All of this uh, has been made by hand, if I can say. Here, you can see you're in a clearing that is pretty round because I was playing with round brushes. This one is like fully round and yeah, stuff like this. Random generation, 100 kilometers square, available right now. Uh, Beyond painting, available right now. It works pretty well. So here it is. Uh, that's my map. Oh, I like this crater. Look at what it did. Like a crater that still goes into another kind of mountain lake that flows here and goes down the valley. Here, as a reminder, you can control uh, the time uh, with this. So it represents, uh, you know, uh, what time of the day and night. Uh, you have, uh, if you go under, it's just going to be uh, the night. And so as you can see, it's uh, it's beautiful. It's real time, uh, instantaneous. You can go from night to day uh, and it's beautiful. Uh, this is all the views, but I'm going to show you that with a 3D token is going to be better. And here are the uh, presets for the weather. So here is uh, cloudy, but here you have also 
foggy uh, so it drastically changes the weather here I can uh, start making the rain pour advanced weather uh, gives you control over the weather and time system uh, in a lot of in a lot of ways so for example I can uh, change the water coverage here so you can see that I'm changing in real time there is the cloud heights so I can change the height of the clouds I can put them pretty low so I have this kind of cool looking uh, you see kind of mountain mountain fog right here uh, it's really nice to play with it here is the wind when you're on the ground in the trees uh, it really has an effect. Uh, it does have an effect also on rain and snow and its direction. I can change this direction right here. Uh, you have control over the wind. You can see I'm changing the wind orientation. And you can also change the direction of the sun or moon. You can see I'm changing the sun to here. Uh, I can put it a little bit on the left, something a little bit more dark, uh, a little bit more uh, vampire-y. Uh, you can change the, the color of the, of the moon and sun. If you click in the middle, it goes back to, uh, to default. And you can also increase the size of the astral body. So it works on sun and moon, so everything is symmetrical. So if you do a change on the size and the angle, it affects the sun and the moon. So here is the time of day and night. So the faster, the more you go on the right, the faster it goes. So now you have one day every five minutes. So it goes pretty quick. Uh, if you want, you can go even faster. You can go to every few seconds. So you have actually a time lapse. So you can do time lapses if you want in here. Um, you can do one to show your players that the day is passing and, you know, ooh, my astral body size is actually pretty small. So yeah, beautiful time lapses. If you go uh, fully on the right, it pauses. So nothing moves anymore. Uh, the sun will freeze and nothing will move. If you go to the extreme left, you will go real time, meaning that a day will pass in 24 hours. So if you want to, for example, you start your game with your friends at noon, you set it at noon, and you're like, okay, we're gonna play for six hours, and I want them to feel that the world is gonna go slowly into the, the sunset, and you put real time. And you don't have to touch the time ever again uh, during the game, and you just like play, and the sun is gonna slowly set. And that's really, really cool. Point of interest. So you can see point of interest right here, uh, I can create a new one. You can see I had already some set up, but I can create a new uh, point of interest, which is going to record everything I've set in the weather, the time, and my position. And I do have a camp, do I? Yes, I do. I have a camp right here. How fun. So, yeah, I was playing around. It's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a bad camp, but I was just messing around for, for like a, a couple of minutes. And here I have like a beautiful sunset somewhere else, uh, kilometers away, I don't even know where. Uh, and that's that's really cool. Uh, okay, next I'm gonna show you a little bit of the, the play tools. You have the grid, it is back. So grid, you display it, you turn it off. Uh, if you have, I'm gonna start drag and dropping some, some of these sweet sweet tokens so i have this uh 3d token oh yeah it's something i maybe i didn't show if you're far away but you have something selected you press f and it's just going to be zoomed in uh wherever you are whatever your position i can go there Vroom. so really really convenient if i move this uh little token i can move it freely uh, anywhere i want but if I uh, select the grid, then the snap is on. So right now, if I move it, but it's not really on, on the grid, you can see it snaps. Measuring tool. So measuring tool, we have, you know, uh, the, I guess it's the regular stuff. Uh, you have the line tool, uh, 45 feet, uh, 15 feet. You have the circle. 
you have your circle tool uh, you can measure from center or from edge you know uh, so you can use that you have the square so same stuff you know uh, from the edge no from center from the edge or for um, the corner so you can actually oh yeah and when you move your character you can also have this uh, sometimes it's um, it's interesting especially with the line uh, and we have the cone so 45 degree angle round shaped you have your cone dice tool a regular dice you know as you can uh, as you can have used uh, it will fall on the ground and it will show the results in your chat box so right now we have this uh, it shows who uh, made the launch what is the launch so it's 3d 20 it's giving you the full result 48 and then it's giving you the breakdown so 19 18 and 11 um, maybe sometimes uh, later on we'll have like a color for crits and stuff like this but right now we felt uh, it was good enough so 2d is cool why because uh, as you can see it's a 2d token but it's a you know png with a see-through so you can actually see through it but it does cast the shadow when you're looking at it like right here you, it, it really does look like uh, kind of a real character and what is cool is that you can upload your own and you can even use a web link so I'm gonna go into the options right here and you can see that we have uh, put a few presets for you so you have like kind of a weird bard we have a couple warriors you know you have a guy uh, you have a few a few dudes I think we have a girl yeah uh, you have a dragon and stuff so you can you can play with the scale uh, if you want it a little bit bigger you can upload anything you like uh, and it really looks good in my opinion uh, if you put uh, if you put a couple uh, a couple of that so you see uh, there's like a, a big spider and you have this guy in the options if you don't like uh, the look of the character base as I can understand for big stuff like this especially you can hide the base uh, so now your your spider is uh, really just shown like this you can also choose to have the 2d token to follow you what it means is I deactivated it and so it means that now it's not following me and in the back it's a lot darker but now you can see where the character is facing right but if you click on follow player it's always following you you're never gonna see it's back it's all options and each token has its own um, characteristic that you can save as you can see my spider is a lot bigger it doesn't have a character base uh, this one is following me the spider too but it's like uh, every time I change something it's registered and saved um, on each token last option is gonna be the view angle detection so you can turn it off if you turn it off whatever where, wherever you are it's gonna try to look at you and it's facing you uh, if you do uh, angle detection at some point it's gonna change to this kind of uh, flat token and it's really cool if you're playing top view here we're gonna play a little bit with 3d tokens because I think this is something you're gonna love and you're gonna play with we certainly do in the team every day we play with this a little too much so uh, I'm gonna take one of my favorite ones uh, you drag and drop a, a, a token whatever it is uh, as you can see it has an idle pose so you can see it breathe uh, but you can also take control of the character so I showed you this before uh, but now it's a lot better uh, we have put uh, some other options you have the ragdoll system and you now have a few uh, pose that's pretty cool to set up a scene right here you can see these guys hmm, some of them have torches well you can change the stance to a more masculine stance more feminine you have injured it works even if you walk uh, run you can work, run injured um, you can have hands tied you have a torch so I'm gonna show you what it does with the torch It's pretty cool so if it's night it really works like like this and you have a button I think it's a fourth button on the wheel on, on the mouse but it's like you see it really does light uh, further away 
and you can see better. When you're in FPS, it's even better. You can, you can really see it like, like this. So you can have like this um, kind of crate. Uh, you, you can hold a barrel, can run with it, no problem. There are, these are badass 3D models. And so, uh, yep, and at some point you can uh, go away from the... Oh, it, it's supposed to keep the... Um, uh, that was a little bit of a bug. But you can select one that you're not controlling, and you can give it the same, like you can give it a torch, uh, you can give it the barrel, and it's going to stay like this. So this is really cool. Uh, controlling people in third person, I, I didn't think it would be that fun, uh, to be honest, but uh, we're having a lot of fun uh, with it. Look at this crazy, and when I say crazy, I say it like very positively. This is made with bones and antler, uh, <laughs> deer antlers. Is that it? It is. What? What? Really? Really? It is insane. It's crazy, in a good way. I'm I'm in awe with the work uh, he's been putting, and I mean it. It it is really impressive for the tools you have this is crazy this is absolutely mad he's done all of this look like a cathedral with stuff that is not supposed to be used for that it's like a task and it's 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 crazy good i'm so impressed thank you so much for showing up uh i see we're still 60 people i'll see you around in menier goodbye everyone